what is up everybody welcome back to another youtube video so in this youtube video i'm going to give you guys an updated tutorial on how to completely optimize your nvidia graphics card and your nvidia drivers so without further ado let's get right into the video so before you do anything you want to go to the link in the description and download nvidia optimization guide pack file and once you've downloaded it all you want to do is just right click on it click extract all or extract files if you have 7-zip and then press ok now it's going to ask you for the password the password is going to be zilly2024 all in one word so i'm going to type that real quick and it's going to make this folder right here I'll just double click on it and double click on here and the first thing we're going to do is uninstall our current nvidia drivers regardless of what we have installed if it's latest drivers older drivers if you have a nvidia driver installed right now we're going to be uninstalling it in order to install a deep loaded nvidia driver that is the latest nvidia driver that is going to give us better performance and better input so let's get to uninstalling this so all you want to do is just go to the number one go to display driver installer double click on display driver installer.exe and press no press ok and minimize this press no press ok again press ok one more time and then you're going to click select device type you're going to choose gpu you're going to click nvidia and then you're going to press clean and do not restart so what this is going to do is going to wipe your current driver that you have installed right now and your current monitor are going to be set to 60 hertz and the second monitors are going to be turned off for now don't get scared if this happens just be patient and follow up with this video but just keep that in mind that if your second monitors turn off it's just because there's no nvidia drivers after you clicked clean and do not restart so once you've done that it's going to ask you clean up completed do you want to get, exit out just press yes and then you're going to pretty much exit out of this and then you're going to go back into the nvidia optimization guide folder double click on here go to number two and then double click on nv clean install and what this program does is it basically installs the latest drivers or you could manually pick a driver version for your pc that you can install with pretty much all the useless stuff stripped out so i'm going to do latest drivers and i recommend most of you that are doing this video just install latest drivers because there's honestly not that much differences between older drivers and newer drivers usually there used to be better drivers that were older but nowadays i just pretty much run latest drivers especially people on 40 series cards and any new cards that are about to come out always do latest drivers just because you're going to be able to get new functionality bug fixes and you're going to be able to play a lot more games rather than running some old driver that some random optimizer on youtube said it was good by the way most of the time it's the same exact performance if there's like drastic performance changes by all means go ahead and try a different driver but for most of you just run latest and you shouldn't really have a problem and that goes to say do not ask in the comments what is the best gpu driver and don't message me what is the best gpu driver because i'm just going to keep saying latest because that's literally what i use on all of my clients as computers and on my personal computer and i have no issues whatsoever all right, so once nv clean install is done with the driver download you're going to be selecting some of the installation tweaks that it does while it's installing the gpu driver so what we're going to select is the first two settings and we're going to select disable and sell now if you need photo filters or game filters do not check this because Ansel you need it for those two things now i'm going to check it because i obviously don't use game filters or photo filters while i'm gaming if you do use those i know some cloud players and some pro players use that it's not really ideal deal because it does like add input lag and basically destroys your fps to be honest I just wouldn't recommend using it but some people use it so it's their cup of tea so click show expert tweaks and then we're going to check disable hdcp and then we're going to pretty much press next and then we're going to click install and it's going to start installing the nvidia driver that we just downloaded and it's going to install it without any of the useless stuff that is, comes with regular drivers and with some pre-made tweaks now once you've done that once you press install and it's completely installed and your monitors are back up we could pretty much go into the nvidia application what this new nvidia application is it's basically a application where it's going to re start replacing the video control panel and geforce experience now this is really optional so i'm just going to cover it in this video just because it's going to be a new cool thing that a lot of people are going to want to run but if you want to stick with the og geforce experience and og nvidia control panel by all means go ahead it's really not that much different but this in the future probably a couple months from now or a year from now nvidia is going to fully switch to the nvidia application that i'm going to show here in a second so let's get right into that so go back to the nvidia optimization guide folder and we're going to go to number three which is nvidia app settings control panel and all you're going to do is just double click on this link that's going to take you to the website where you could download the new nvidia application so all you're going to do is click download beta and it's going to start downloading so all you're going to do is you're going to click agree and continue once this pops up is to start installing the new nvidia application now once you're here all you're going to do is click next on here 
and you're gonna turn off optimized games and creative applications. The reason for that is just because whenever this app or GeForce Experience does optimizing for your games or creative applications, as it says, it pretty much just messes up the NVIDIA control panel settings we're about to do later. So just turn this off because there's really no point in using it. Press next. Now, if you do use the GeForce Experience overlay usually, then you want this on just because this is basically NVIDIA Shadow Play and we'll cover some settings in here as well. So for now, I'm going to leave this on, but usually I don't use this at all. So this just depends on you as a person. If you don't use this, turn this off because it does add input lag and it does lower your FPS just because it's an overlay and any overlay over your game is going to do that. I'm going to leave it on just because I'm going to show the settings that you should use if you do decide to use this. Press next and then click skip to app. And then now all we're going to do, we're going to go to graphics on the left and we're going to go to global settings. And these are NVIDIA control panel settings, but they pretty much just put them here just for ease of access. Just copy what I have already here. These are pretty much the best settings for this part of global settings in this app. However, in NVIDIA control panel, there's obviously more settings that we're going to be changing in there later on. But for now, just copy all these settings right here as they are the best settings. Now, if you don't have on for low latency mode, because some laptops don't have it on, you could test out ultra or off, but off might be better for you if you only have ultra just because reflex is a thing in games. So try that out. Test between both. Ultra might cause FPS drops. That's why I don't recommend using it. But we're going to go to settings on the left and then we're going to scroll down. And if you don't use game filters and photo mode, turn this off. It's useless. And then especially turn off automatically download drivers and let me choose when to install. The reason why you don't want to update your drivers literally every single time a new one comes out is just because either you're going to be installing a buggy driver or you're going to be just getting horrible FPS for like a couple of matches just because shader cache has to build up. And if you don't know what shader cache is, just search up like on Google what shader cache is and read the definition. But basically, if your shader cache isn't built up in games like Fortnite, you're just going to have stutters and like some FPS drops in the first few matches until it builds up. Call of Duty and games like Call of Duty, they already do this while you're in the lobby, just what shader optimization is. Basically, that's already done. But for Fortnite and those games and Epic Games Launcher, you have to just play the game, play it out whenever you first reinstall a NVIDIA driver or whenever you update to a newer NVIDIA driver. So that's why I say don't really update just because you're going to have to do that. After this video, if the first few matches just feel a little bit laggier than usual or a little bit stutters, just give it a few matches. You have to let the shader cache build up. And if you don't know what that is, just Google it. It's a pretty common thing. Moving on, we're going to pretty much make sure this is also off. And we're going to go to notifications. Please turn these off. They are useless. Now, we're going to go to system. We're going to click NVIDIA control panel. We're going to click open. And basically, this is where we're going to do the most of the settings in here just because these global settings obviously it's like most of them but it's not all of them so we're going to close out of this now we're going to go to adjust image settings with preview make sure you have used the advanced 3d image settings checked not the other two now we're going to go to manage 3d settings on the left and basically anastropic filtering turn this off gamma correction off anti-aliasing mode off and scroll down and then open gl rendering gpu set it to your graphics card and then power management mode preferred maximum performance preferred refresh rate highest available and then texture filtering quality set this to high performance and make sure vertical sync is off and threaded optimization turn this on and then press apply now these are pretty much classic new video settings i've reviewed these in almost pretty much every video now go to configure surround just set this to your graphics card go to change resolution make sure you're on your highest refresh rate and scroll all the way down and click use the nvidia color settings and set output dynamic rate to full and then press apply and do this for both of your monitors if you have two monitors and adjust desktop size and position you're gonna go here select scaling mode if you do not use stretched resolution aka you do not use 1720 by 1080 or 1680 by 1050 you can just set this to no scaling you don't really want any scaling on native resolution because there shouldn't be any scaling required so do this for both of your monitors if you do not use stretched resolution now if you do use stretch resolution set this to full screen do this for both of your monitors and then we're going to go to desktop at the top click enable developer settings make sure this is checked and then click on manage gpu performance counters click allow access to the gpu performance counters to all users press apply and then whenever it asks you yes or no press yes then you can pretty much exit out of nvidia control panel and those are the best nvidia app settings and nvidia control panel settings now we're going to go to the nvidia overlay settings which is for people that are going to use shadow play or instant replay so all you're going to do is press alt z of course and then we're going to go to highlights turn this off highlights are basically anytime you get a killing game or anytime you 
do something in game, it clips it. So if you're not garbage at the game, turn this off. If you're garbage, you might want to have this on. I don't know. Maybe you get a kill every once in a while. So then go back and then game filter, same thing. Just turn this off. And then we're going to go to photo mode and make sure that's off as well. And then we're going to go to statistics and you can use this. What this is, it's basically like performance stats while you're gaming. And you can see on the top right here, it'll show you like stuff like this. If you're kind of like an advanced user, this is actually pretty helpful and you can change the statistics view. So like FPS advanced, as you can see here, it shows all this stuff. So it's a really cool feature. I'm not going to lie, but if it's only like useful if you're an advanced user. So if you're not just turn this off and then go back and click this gear icon, click settings, and then we're going to go to audio and just make sure everything here is set right and then go back and then we're going to go to video capture and instant replay length. The higher you go, the more system resources you're going to be using. So obviously you want this either as much as you need it or as low as possible. I literally recommend like probably 30 seconds. Anything above that, you're just clipping too much. And then quality, you could pretty much set this to just set to custom and then change the bit rate. The bit rate is going to, if you increase it, it's going to make your clips like super huge in file size. So you'll have like a one minute clip that's literally like five gigabytes if you increase this too much. So just obviously keep in mind with your change with this frame rate obviously set this to 60 fps it's cool that they have 120 fps you guys can try that out if you want but i just recommend 60 fps and then in-game resolution just set this to whatever you play at but usually it's going to be 1080p just because most of you are on native and then go back and then we're going to go to files and disk space and you could click this if you want to limit how much the clips take up so but i'm not going to use that so i'm going to go back and then i'm going to go to notifications you can honestly turn most of these off except the ones that you need so the HDR stuff, turn this off and then keep this on, keep this on and then keep this stuff on and then turn that off. But if you don't use any of these, you can just pretty much turn it off and then go back. We're going to go to shortcut controls and just change whatever shortcuts you need to clip stuff in here and then go back. We're going to go back again. And those are pretty much the best like new video overlay settings for this new reskin to overlay. It's pretty much the same thing, but it's reskin. So now we're going to go back to the NVIDIA optimization guide folder. We're going to go to MSI mode. And this is important for anybody that's on a 20 series card or older. You want to set the graphics card to MSI mode. If you're on a 30 series or above, it's already checked. So you don't have to do this, but just double check it. Just right click on this, click the button as administrator, and then find your graphics card make sure it's checked and then make sure it's on undefined and then press apply on the top right and then refresh it just to make sure that actually it stayed checked and it's on undefined close out of that go back go to nvidia profile inspector double click nvidia profile inspector.exe and i'm not gonna go too in depth in here just because there's really not much settings in here that will make crazy differences i've already went through a lot of this over the years so these two settings are pretty much all you need to change is just CUDA force P2 state, set this to off and then press apply changes. And then R bar feature, set this to enabled. R bar options, set this to 0x1. And then R bar size limit, set this to the one that says Red Dead Redemption 2. And then press apply on changes on the top right. That's pretty much all you have to do for this NVIDIA profile inspector. And even if you don't have resizable bar support enabled in BIOS, this for some reason still gives you a crazy FPS boost. I don't know why, just do it. It's free FPS, so go ahead and do that. And then and press apply changes to make sure that applies but yeah guys that's going to be pretty much it for this video and you should have your nvidia graphics card completely optimized by now and you should be seeing the benefits almost instantly in game obviously depending on the game that you play you might have to give it a few matches just because the shader cache has to build up and as i said earlier if you don't know what shader cache is just give it a quick google search and you'll figure out what it is but other than that if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like comment down below what i should do next or if you need any help and subscribe to make sure that you don't miss any future videos like this that are really helpful. But other than that, if you want a full PC optimization service where you get lower input lag, way more FPS and smoother gameplay, go to the link in the description. It's where I offer three of my best services and you can book either one depending on your needs. Now, if you want a PC that is completely custom built by me, basically I pick out every single part that is the best for performance and low latency gaming, then you can go to the second link in the description where you can buy that PC and get it optimized by me before I even ship it out to you. So it's the second link in the description. But other than that, guys, that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.